people hope you're good so in today's video i will be giving myself a much needed facial as you can see my skin is extremely dull it's dry i have texture on my cheeks i have pores on my nose and i also have more texture on my chin so those are some of the concerns that i aim to tackle with today's facial in all honesty the reason for my skin's appearance boils down to poor decision making on my behalf i haven't been sticking to a full skincare routine i've been going to bed late and eating poorly and most importantly i do not drink near enough as much water as i should so with that being said of course i need to start to tackle some of those bad habits but firstly i'm going to start off with the facial so the first cleanser is an Eve Taylor oil cleanser. I like using a product like this because it enables me to tackle a few issues in one go. So whilst using this product, it allows me to add moisture back into my skin and it also begins to soften some of the dry patches that I have on my face. As well as that, I give myself a mini facial massage which can decrease puffiness and cause vasodilation which basically increases the blood flow to areas that may be lacking in nutrients and oxygen. And this will kind of just wake up my skin and aid in getting rid of the dull appearance. And lastly, I do a little bit of a lymphatic drainage massage just to help get rid of any toxins that may have built up over these last two or so weeks because when I say that I have been doing the bare minimum with my skin, I genuinely mean it. So these are the perks to using a good oil-based cleanser. For my second cleanse, I'm using the CeraVe's SA Smoothing Cleanser. I opted to use this product because it contains salicylic acid, which is oil soluble, allowing it to cut through oil and exfoliate deep within the skin. It also has hyaluronic acid, which increases moisture in the skin and ceramides, which help to protect the skin's barrier. As I've gotten older, my skin has become quite sensitive as well as dry. So my routine has become very basic and I focus on using gentle products which are hydrating rather than loads of you know strong acidic products which I had been using for like the past, I don't know, few years or so to be honest. exfoliate my skin I go in with the Andalus pearl exfoliator formulated for sensitive skin to be honest I tend to stay away from physical exfoliants because I find them a little bit harsh on the skin and I actually prefer to use a chemical exfoliator but I decided to use one today to buff away any dry patches and decrease the amount of texture that I have on my skin you'll see that I'm mainly focusing on my cheeks my nose and my chin area as that is where I do have the most texture. exfoliator on my face I grab my mini steamer and steam my face for about three minutes whilst the steamer is my favorite part of a facial too much steam can actually dry my skin out if used for too long 
So I tend to stick to about three to five minutes to be on the safe side. Once I've removed the exfoliator, I do some extracting. If extractions make you feel sick, you may want to skip to the next part, but if not, then enjoy and carry on watching. decided to go in with an enzyme mask today. Glycolic acid helps to speed up the desquamation process. It stimulates collagen production, fades dark spots and improves the skin's texture. For the past year or so, I have severely limited the amount of acids that I use on my face, as I honestly believe that overusing them has played a huge part in why my skin is so sensitive and dry. But as I'm giving myself a more intensive facial, I pulled this mask from the archives. Now, I wouldn't suggest using this type of mask if you have sensitive skin and your skin is not used to acids because it can irritate the skin. But um, in my case, though I don't use it often, my skin has had experiences with acids. So I'm confident and comfortable with using this type of product. Don't get me wrong, it still does cause a little bit of tingling, mainly in my cheek and chin areas, as I'm pointing out now. But after a few minutes, it does subside. So um, don't worry too much about that if you do experience tingling. If it does persist for more than a few minutes, then maybe it will be best to take it off. When removing this product, I make sure that I have taken away every single bit because I do not want anything left over to irritate my skin. Next, I went in with a calming mask to help soothe my skin after all of the exfoliating that I've been doing. This product again is by Andalou. As you can see, I'm literally rubbing the mask into my skin like a moisturizer because I really want the product to penetrate properly and not just to sit on the surface of my face. I leave this on for about 10 minutes, close my eyes and just enjoy a bit of stillness. Once I've removed the mask, I begin the final steps in my routine. I start by going in with a hydrating toner by Lacura. This brand is actually from Aldi and is one of my favorite toners of all time, but they rarely have them in stock, which is super annoying. For my moisturizer, I mix Nivea's cream with Superdrug's Vitamin E Moisture Boost Serum. And then lastly, I add a few drops of Simple's SPF 30 facial oil. Now this mixture is extremely rich and thick but my skin absolutely loves it and needs it. 
So this is what I actually use on a daily basis. The only difference is, is that when it comes to night time, I swap the SPF oil for Caudalie's nighttime oil. I make sure that I rub it in thoroughly, giving myself a last little bit of manual stimulation and finish off with some lip balm. Now I know that my face looks greasy AF. But trust and believe, by the time I finish getting dressed and doing my hair, the majority of the product would have penetrated into my skin. And I'll no longer look like the bottom of a frying pan, trust me. So that is that. My skin is not perfect. I still have texture, hyperpigmentation, hormonal spots, etc. But it is in a much, much better state than it was in the beginning. And most importantly, as I said, I need to make sure that I drink more water, alter my eating and sleeping habits and go back to doing my daily skincare routine if I want to see a long lasting change to my skin's appearance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've linked the products down below in the description box just in case you want to look into any of the products in more depth. I hope to see you again and thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Mwah.